bullet septic tanks versus onion septic tanks. How about that, right? Bullet septic tanks versus onion septic tanks. And um, let's see if I can get this technology to work. Bada! There we go. So we've been working hard this morning to um, to show you um, a new model that we've built. There we go. So I'm always a bit dubious, to be honest, after I've made this, these uh, models as to, oh, no, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? So, yes. Bullet septic tanks. Sorry about this. It's just these glitches, right? Bullet septic tanks versus onion septic tanks, right? So why am I doing a video about those two particular septic tanks? Well, because many people still go for onion style septic tanks. And they do on the front end work out about 150 pound to 200 quid cheaper than a bullet septic tank and you may think great i'm saving some money but what i'm about to show you i think that you'll thank me for number one and number two you'll have second thoughts after you've seen what I'm about to show you, because an onion septic tank will cost you anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred quid more to install and put in than an onion shaped septic tank. All right. And, um, <coughs> you know, many people don't know this. Many people that have bought onion shaped style septic tanks say to me, Oh, you know, Jason, you know, thanks a lot, mate, for, for, for telling me. Or they're like, oh, no, I wish I'd have known what you're saying beforehand. So let me just see if I can show you what I mean by an onion-shaped septic tank. Just, just give me a second here, right? Just let me see if I can just quickly show you what I mean by onion-shaped septic tank. Uh, here's one. All right, so let me just bring this over. Here we go. So that is what I mean by an onion-shaped septic tank. Oh, there we go. So they typically, um, they call them onion style septic tanks because I suppose they look like an onion, although looking at it, right, looking at it, it's a very strange looking onion. It's almost like a light bulb, if anything, a light bulb septic tank or an upside down lollipop. Um, but anyway, that's what they look at. Uh, that's what they look like, rather. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you the pros and the cons of the onion-shaped septic tanks versus the bullet septic tanks. So let's just get straight into this. So come on, technology, where are you? Okay, we've got some blue sky there. All right, so have I set the scene? Yes, thank goodness for that. Okay, so I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting my way around this technology. I bought this program. Um, as you can see here, it's like a amazing bit of software that um, allows me to show people what the septic tank and sewage treatment plant system will look like it's a very good bit of kit this is uh, for example i mean you've got fields in the back there you can change it to like look let me just show you this um you can change the terrain on it there you go so suddenly you've got some mountains there look at that you've got mountain ranges and stuff like that and um you can put all kinds of stuff on here. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let's say you want to put a cement mixer on there. So it's quite really clever, this technology that this is. And um, But the point being is I, you know, don't buy it for stuff like um, I've just shown you there. But uh, we, I've got a programmer, and he actually um, designs all the stuff I'm about to show you. So let me just get rid of these mountain ranges and put it back down to normal. I just wanted to show you how good this technology is. So this is leading. This is, um, I suppose, leading software today, which allows you to create an environment so people can actually see what you're talking about. So here we go. So let me, first of all, remove the, um, the grass here. All right, so I haven't got my glasses on. The grass cover, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So let's just start with this. Okay, so here we go. 
So let's pretend this is your garden. Uh, this is just a cutaway cross section here, okay? So let me show you, first of all, the typical sizes in holes, the pros and the cons between a bullet septic tank and an onion septic tank. So let me just do hole number one. There we go. Oh, let me marry this up. All right, so let's say you're going to put an onion septic tank in. Typically, you're looking at something like, so I'm just going to base this on the small onion tanks, right? And then as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, obviously it's going to have been double, quadruple the size of holes and things. So typically, if you imagine that's the size of a hole that you'd put your onion tank in, let me show you the size of the hole for the low profile tank. So straight away, you've got a hole, right? That's the beauty about low profile bullet tanks. The hole <laughs> is half the size to begin with, right? So what does that mean? Well, <clears throat> basically with a, a low profile tank, you can um, use a small digger such as a one and a half ton digger, three ton digger, five ton digger, for the um, bullet-shaped septic tanks, okay? So for the hole for the onion tank, right? Oh, man, you're going to need five ton plus. Typically, most people have to use a JCB. So you're looking at twice, if not three times, the higher cost, right, for putting um, an onion tank in, for digging the hole before you do anything else. And you're going to be using more fuel. So straight away, right? You've saved 100, 150 quid, 200 quid by buying the onion tank, but suddenly that that saving has disappeared because, right, you've now had to get a, a bigger digger and you've had to dig a bigger hole, which takes two to three times longer, and you're using more fuel. And, you know, once you start getting past, I mean, if you imagine this is, is 10, 11 foot deep, right, once you start getting about three foot below the grass, it gets really, really hard going. So where the bottom of the hole finishes for the low profile septic tank, it starts getting really hard and compact the soil. And so this bit of the hole takes twice as long to dig with any digger than it would be the first half of the hole. Okay, so now let me put the onion tank in the hole for you, okay? So there we go. That's the onion tank. All right. So let me just move back here. All right. So this is a typical size onion septic tank. OK, so it's got a lid there, as you can see, and they are quite big and bulbous. So once you've put it in, you would then drop it in the hole. Now, it seems today like I'm demonizing onion tanks, and I'm not. I'm just saying that technology has moved on and that. Um, it's moved on to such a degree that onion septic tanks were great in their day, but technology is just better now. Technology has allowed, this, particularly the septic tank industry, um, to get things done quicker uh, for less and um, that lasts longer. Okay, so let me show you the bullet septic tank now. Let me see if I can find where the bullet septic tank is. Here we go. So let me just zoom out a bit here. So there we go. So if that's pretty much ground level, let me see if I can just change the sun on here. There you go. So now you can see typically the difference in size and height of a bullet septic tank and the onion septic tank, the, the, the difference is clear, isn't it? I mean, flipping heck, as I said, <clears throat> you know, so if this is like 10 foot hole, okay, so you don't have to have a riser, by the way, on the um, low profile tank, on the bullet septic tank, but I've just put one on. So typically the hole here is going to be, right, anywhere from four to five foot. For the onion tank, it's going to be anywhere from like 10 to 11 feet. So that's, you know, it's half the height of the bullet septic tank. Now, another thing I wanted to tell you at this point was 
the onion septic tanks are made from fiberglass. So whilst they're very light, they're very fragile. OK, so they can break easily. They can puncture easy. So if you if you're putting it into a hole uh, and it's it, and it's like rocking against the sides, if it hits a rock or a stone or the digger bucket, then it'll just puncture and it will break. OK, so that's another factor to take into consideration. So, again, I'm not demonizing onion septic tanks. I'm just being straight and saying, look, you know, although you'll save 200 quid up front, that 200 quid suddenly doesn't make any sense anymore because you've had to get a bigger digger. You're using more fuel. It's taken you a day, day and a half to dig the hole instead of an hour. Um, <clears throat> there's a uh, 90 percent more chance of 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 puncturing or breaking the very flimsy fiberglass tanks okay so that's one thing okay or <laughs> a, a multitude of things there whichever way you look at it here's some more things right do you notice the depth of the outlet pipe <clears throat> now this is on a small onion septic tank okay the outlet pipe right is starting off about three foot below the grass three foot below the grass right and so <clears throat> your soak away will have to start at this depth minimum you can get risers for the onion shaped septic tanks that puts them even deeper to the ground so this is a starting entry point entry level <clears throat> so the deeper you go down with an onion shaped septic tank right the deeper down the soak away is going to come all right so now if you look at the inlet and the outlet pipe here for the onion uh, for the um low profile septic tank that puts it in perspective doesn't it that the outlet pipe on the on the low profile septic tank is just a foot a foot and a half below the grass. I mean, how incredible is that? So that means that you can literally start your soak away, right? You can start your soak away in the topsoil. So that means you don't even have to do um, a percolation test. Now, percolation tests only ever came about because of onion tanks, right? Before they used to put concrete septic tanks in the ground and you could pretty much have the outlet pipe any depth below the grass as you wanted. But on this here, look, right? You're, the reason why you've got to do percolation tests is because the depth, once you start getting below this depth, below that depth even, the ground becomes a lot more denser. It's, it's a lot harder to dig into, as I've already said. And that means there's a lot more resistance. Now, let me just see if I can bring a soak away crate into here. So just bear with me a second. I'm just going to see if I can get on the desktop here. And I'm going to bring in the soak away so I can just show you. So uh, bear with me a second. Here we go. Let's just see if I can bring a soak away crate in. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So here's a soak away crate, okay? So I've brought a soak away crate in. So let me just show you this, okay? So let's just put it in perspective. So the soak away crates, let me just turn the uh, bullet tank off, okay? So these septic tanks will start about that depth below the grass. All right, let me just fill the other hole in in case it's uh, not making sense. All right, so <laughs> that's the kind of depth that the soak away crates will be starting at. And you can see, I mean, that probably doesn't look much already, but that's three foot already below the grass. All right, now let's just put that in comparison to, let's bring the, um, the bullet tank back. <laughs> Have a look at this. In fact, I'm going to bring another one in, right? I'm going to bring another one in just to show you. All right. So bear with me a minute. Here we go. Now, let me show you that. Okay. So that, there you go. You've got an exact comparison there. All right. So 
I know the tanks in the way it, it wouldn't normally be like this, right? Obviously, that tank wouldn't normally be there. But the point is, I just wanted to show you uh, um, a comparison of the depth. So the soak away crates for the low profile tank is so much higher, right? And don't forget, right? <laughs> That is just a single layer because on the onion tanks, right? You think of the size of the hole that you've got to dig to put the crates in as well at that depth. It's just it just becomes a nightmare. It becomes nonsensical to be honest with you. The depth is just ridiculous. So that is roughly the height of the bullet septic tank, the soak away. Right. Compared to where the height of the onion one will start at. So suddenly you can start to see that the bullet septic tank just makes so much more sense. I mean, I'm being very generous with this pipe this high. It's normally where that shadow is. Right. So there you go. So let me show you now another factor that makes the bullet tanks so desirable. Now, <laughs> with the onion concrete tank, uh, with the onion septic tank, you have to concrete them in the ground, all right? So not only do you have to dig a massive hole, but watch this, right? You've got to co concrete them in, there you go. Unless you put a blanket, all right, of concrete around the onion septic tank, the manufacturers will not warranty them all right <clears throat> and you have two problems if the onion tank is not concreted in they just a tiny bit of rain tiny bit of moisture boom they just pop up straight out the ground just pop straight up out the ground and um so when you're putting an onion tank in you got to concrete them in and so this is what i'm saying You've saved your 150, 200 quid up front, right? But then you've had to get a digger two to three times bigger than what you'd normally have to get if you put a bullet septic tank in. So you've lost your 200 quid. You, in fact, you've had to pay out probably another two, 300 quid on top of that. You've got a hole that's taking you one to two days longer, right? Instead of an hour, taking you an hour here, it's taking you a, a day to dig this hole or half a day even, right? You've used more fuel. Now you've got to concrete the onion tank in. <clears throat> Otherwise, the manufacturers won't warranty it. They don't tell you this at the builders' yards. Now, the concrete tank here, right, to put in will cost you a minimum of 600 to 800 quid in concrete. And, um, and not only that, on top of that, right, on top of that, in lots of cases, you've got to put straps on. Like, you know, like humans can wear braces, right? You have to put a pair of braces, like straps here, and at the bottom, you put like a concrete lintel <clears throat> to hold the tank down. So by the time you've dug your hole, by the time you've precariously put your um, tank in the ground, by the time, oh man, you've dug your deep, 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 deep soak away, right? And you've got to do percolation tests because it's just so deep in the ground. Then you've got to get a concrete mixer in to actually mix the concrete to backfill around the septic tank, right? Because as I said, if you put shingle in and it pops out the ground, the manufacturers won't warranty it. So you can start to see, right, something that, should be easy it's suddenly taking you three days to do and it's cost you three times as much so let's have a look at the um bullet septic tank now okay so what do you put around that well let me show you all right so here we go shingle oh let me just uh let me just change that over for you to some shingle here so we can see it because it's a bit bright that hopefully you can see it but there we go so all you need to do is put 20 to 30 mil shingle and back for let me just turn the brightness down on that a bit there we go you can see that quite well, well now can't you all right so on the bullet septic tank 
you just need to backfill right with three to four ton of shingle just around the side of it okay just like that and you only need to do it as well to three quarters up the tank so just to about let's have a look here yeah just to about there just underneath the pipe and then once you've done that all you need to do from there is put the soil <clears throat> over it there you go so that is the bullet septic tank installed you don't need to put anything underneath it you don't need to put a gravel bed or anything underneath it it just goes in fine like that and as i said you can literally just put shingle around the side of it okay and there's the onion tank so there's an exact direct comparison between the two so i hope that's helped um so cost wise so what's it going to cost you then to put an onion tank in compared to a bullet shaped septic tank what's it going to cost you well <clears throat> let me add this up for you all right so let me just put that like that so what's it going to cost oh let me just get my calculator here oh, oh okay so let's say it's going to cost you um so for the onion tank it's going to cost you let's say they cost uh, 399 quid say 399 quid right then you've got to buy in many cases you've got to buy the frames with them uh, and the lid which is another 50 quid okay then you've got to hire a digger to put the onion tank in it's over very well if you're a farmer and stuff like that but to hire a jcb or a five ton digger it's going to cost you three four hundred quid for the week easy peasy right okay <clears throat> then you're going to pay someone to dig the hole or you're going to pay a day spend the day digging the hole and um but i won't put that cost down okay then we'll go for the concreting so let's say the difference between six and eight hundred quid let's say 700 quid right okay so you got 700 quid plus you got 399 plus you got 50 plus we said 400 minimum for the digger so let's times that by 1.2 so that is going to cost you like 1858 quid to put in okay you don't think of that and that and that's without the soak away that's without the soak away um and these are things you just don't think of until you start weighing up the pros and the cons so now let's add so what did we have here so let me just write this on the board here so bear with me a second so you've got 1800 oh let me get a pen that works okay bear with me a second let's just go back here so we've got 1885 pound right so let me now do it for the um low profile so the low profile is 599 the digger typically because i put them in all the time is about 275 quid 300 quid let's say 300 quid right and let's say three four ton of shingle 120 quid right so times 1.2 there you go so you've got 1222 pounds and 80p well, let's just forget the 80p all right so straight away in my reckoning if i do 1185 minus 1222 suddenly right although you think you've saved 150 200 quid up front for the onion tank you've suddenly paid out an extra 650 quid and i'm being very generous on that because on top of that okay on top of that with the onion tank remember i said you've got to use the belts and the braces you've got to put the braces on most of them they put braces on them and they put a lintel on now you're looking at least another 200 quid on that if not we've been 300 quid but I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say 200 right so suddenly right 
That is now 2,100. 1,000, almost uh, one, one, two, one, uh, 2,100 quid, right? So now, right, you've saved 800 to 1,000 quid with a bullet tank. So, but listen, you get the point, don't you? You get the point, okay? We can quibble about quids here and there. And there's no agenda here. I'm just showing you the difference between <clears throat> the low profile tanks, the bullet septic tanks, and the onion shaped septic tanks. And don't forget, on top of that, if you're paying a laborer to do it or, or a contractor to do it, right, it's going to take a day or two extra, easy to put that onion tank in. So, you know. As I said at the outset, the difference between the savings between an onion shaped septic tank and a low profile septic tank work out roughly anywhere from about 800 to 1200 quid a time. Now, this is a small system as well, a small system. So you imagine when you go to the next size up, next size up. It's it's nuts. I, I I put so many onions in. I just won't touch them anymore because, you know, a typical three to four, five to six bedroom property can put and there's another three and a half, four thousand quid on the on the price compared to a bullet septic, septic tank. So there you go. I just wanted to share that with you and save you some money there. Okay. Now, I always show my customers this because if you just Cutting straight to the chase. If you want to, if you want to compare prices of the bullet septic tanks, then all you need to do is www.septictank.co.uk. There you go. There's my site there. Okay, so just go to septictank.co.uk, and I'll just make it a bit bigger so you can see. And there's loads of free stuff on my site here. If you like the videos that you've seen, if you like the broadcast. Then if you click on here, Septic Tank TV, I've got my own Septic Tank TV station, right? Uh, it's mine. It's all mine. And uh, I do live broadcasts and loads of videos. So just click, click on there, right? And you'll see lots of broadcasts and stuff that I've done. Okay, so there's some. Um, and you just literally just click, click play. And you can open it up there. And this particular one is on uh oh yeah there you go septic tank regulations i can't hear any sound on that so i don't know why but um let me try this one is it my speaker oh why isn't, why isn't my speaker working Worms and booty oh, oh, and oh, oh, there you go. Eat and digest. Maintain the size for nutrients. All right, okay. So we got tons of. Uh, so this is very all right, there you go. So it was working, it's just my speakers were not nice. Always a technical glitch. But anyway, at least you know I'm here and I'm alive and this is live. So, yeah, so that's live TV. So here's the bullet tanks, okay? So one, I've done them based on the number of bedrooms. I've made it really, really simple. If you've got one to two bedrooms and you just need the small baby one, and they're just five nine nine. dollars um, There's more videos on the here. The tank is one of the easiest tanks in the UK to install. Thanks to its low profile, shallow dig design, this amazing septic tank will just take you under an hour to get in the ground with a mini digger. It's no wonder this is the UK's most popular selling septic tank today. All right, so you get the point there. And it comes also with an EN12566 1 certificate. So all the septic tanks that I sell are compliant with UK building regs. They come with a certificate from the government, which means that um, if ever your building control inspector comes around, you can just show him the government certificate and he's like, yeah, and he'll go his way. Got the dimensions there, shows you how to install them, look. Um, but you can see all this on my site. You can also put a soak away. You can, you know, we're talking about the crates, shows you how to put the crates to it here. No, soak away crate. Start laying the individual soak away crates on top of the membrane they simply just clip together and the clips are also supplied free with the soak away crate anyway so listen you get the point so septic tank.co.uk so those are the bullet tanks one to two bedrooms three to four bedrooms uh five to 
eight bedrooms. Then we've got Easy Drain. Now, Easy Drain is another type of soak away. Um, the soak away crates are designed for small to medium sized gardens or if they're going under drives because they've got a 60 ton bearing load um, or you're very constricted, you've got a small space. All right, so um, Easy Drain. Easy Drain is an amazing. Let me just cut. Gravel free soak away. It's gravel free. Okay, so this is. Dig a trench and lay down the easy drain pipes. They just click together. Then just cover the easy drain over with topsoil. You can click together as many branches and junctions as you like. An easy drain also fits into manhole chambers, allowing an easy connection to your septic tank. All right, so <clears throat> basically, all this stuff. <laughs> It should all be called, it should be called all easy, easy septic tank, easy drain, easy this, easy that, because it's really easy. Uh, it's, uh, and it's, look, it's really easy to put in. It's um, quick to put in, and it's made for the DIY market, and it's, it's cheap to buy, but it's top quality stuff. I'm an independent sewage consultant. I consult for the Environmental Agency in UK building regs, I install, I repair. I've been doing this 20 years. So there's tons of different tanks and stuff on the market. You know, ring all, all these different people up and they'll say, oh, stuff's the best. Everyone else is rubbing. I don't work like that. I, look, I try and work on principles. If a tank's good and it's easy to put in and it's space age technology and it saves you money and it saves you time and the stuff lasts 100, 150 years, it's really reliable. That is what I sell. At time to time, I change the tanks that I sell, but these are the tanks that I put in myself. And these are the tanks <coughs> that I would use personally. They're the best on the market. Easy Drain is the best kind of septic tank soak away kit on the market. So the soak away crates. Um, if you're looking for um, uh, a sewage treatment plant, this is the best in the world. It's called the Ecosystem. Uh, I'll just give you a quick... Uh, Imagine a small organic sewage system that was powered by nature, not electricity. Imagine an organic sewage system that didn't smell, didn't cost a penny to run, and could never break down. Welcome to the Ecosystem, a non-electric sewage treatment plant that uses bacteria. All right, so these are the kind of systems that I sell. They're, they're natural, they're safe, they're organic, and they're all fully legal. This particular one turns sewage into almost like drinking water. Um, oh, man. But anyway, look, so and here's one more tip for you as well. And I always mention this. On the 1st of Jan 2020, the regs are changing for people. The regulations around the world are changing, around the UK are changing. Um, many septic tanks that discharge directly into water courses are going to be banned. <clears throat> and this new legislation you can find on the government website. So let me just show you this. If you if you want to know what it is, literally just go to the um, .government website. So let me type in this. I'm going to type in .gov. Watch. All right. So here's the .gov website. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just zoom in for you. All right. So the .gov website. And you click on there. And here in the box here, all you need to type in is uh, general binding rules. General, general binding rules. There we go. And hit return on your keypad. Oh, there we go. All right. So it's um, you've got four things come up there. Oh yeah, that's got nothing to do with it. So it's just these four that will come up, and it's the third one down. The others. Uh, are still relevant, but um, is a conversation for another day. So just keeping things in context about septic tanks. It, here we go. It says rules you must follow if your septic tank or sewage, small sewage treatment plant discharges into surface water. So I'm just showing you this because if you've got a septic tank or you're looking to put one in, let me just show you this. There we go. This, oh, sorry about that. Let me just make this bigger. There you go. This form here, this government compliance form, will save you thousands and thousands of pounds, right? 
So let me just show you how, right? Uh, there we go. So if, when you click that, basically these are all the rules regarding septic tanks, right? So if they, if they, if they, from the first of Jan 2020, if your septic tank is going to discharge into a ditch or a watercourse, or it leaks, or there's cracks in the tank walls or the block pipes, or if it smells, or um, if you come to sell your property, <clears throat> there's a whole new rule, load of rules and regulations. Now here you'll see, it says how to beat the septic tank ban. It says make your septic tank 100% legal, free government compliance form. Now if you click on that, then you'll see a lovely <laughs> picture of me and it just explains what I'm explaining to you, but a lot more succinctly. If you have a septic tank or a sewage treatment plant, then you need to watch this video. All right, so it's like I'm throwing a dart there, look at that. Um, so let me just put, all right, so that's the form there. It's always horrible, isn't it? But anyway, that's what the form looks like. I've just shown you that, right? And um, it explains a bit about this, but the point being is this form is for free. Um, so all you need to do is put your name, in there so if i was after a form i'd put jason and i'd put sales at septic tank uk <clears throat> i'd click submit and then it'll automatically send you one of these forms and when you get the form you'll notice that there's some blanks on it let me just make this a bit smaller you'll notice that there's blanks on the form you just fill those in for example you explain what system you've got um, how long the system's been in, um, the, I had to think about that one, then. the capacity of the system, um, the maintenance on it that you've carried out, has it ever been repaired, etc. how often do you have it empty, um, you know, the state of repair, stuff like that, etc. 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 Okay, so fill all that in, and then put one on display in your kitchen, and put one on display in your utility room or you can just have one in one into other you don't have to have them in both the rooms and hand one to your solicitor and what happens is this when the government inspectors come round, they'll say oh um we believe that you've got a septic tank system um have you got a government compliance form and you'll say yeah i have yeah so you'll go and get it you'll give it to them and they'll be like um okay we've got this we've got that we've got, okay that's good all right so straight away in their eyes you become like a responsible septic tank owner they'll say can i have a copy of this you can say yeah i'll, I'll get you a copy or i'll get my solicitors to send you one you can give them that one and, and download another one from my site they're free as i said and they'll go away another way you save thousands of pounds is when you come to sell your property the people buying your property uh, the solicitor representing the people buying a property will say to you, um, <clears throat> what kind of septic tank system have you got in? Now, most people will say, uh, we've got a septic tank in, and the solicitor will say, okay, okay. Um, what maintenance have you had? What state of repair is it in? And you'll say, oh, um, I'll come back to you in a few days, and then you, you, you'll try and dig out some septic tank emptying receipts, stuff like that. And the solicitor will look at the receipts and say, oh, Okay, still doesn't tell me much, you know. And then the client will be worried, especially if they've never seen a septic tank before. Maybe they've never had one. They, maybe they've never heard of them. One before, if they have heard of them, they'll be wanting to know how often he's emptying. And anyway, it'll get them thinking. And then they'll ask some other people about septic tanks, some septic tank consultants. They'll get some quotes to put a new septic tank and soak away system in. And the solicitor will come back to you and he'll say, OK, the client will go ahead with buying your property if you reduce it by the price that it's going to cost to put a new system in. Because we're not sure what condition your suit system's in, to be honest with you, because, um, you know, you've had it. 10 years, you've had it 50 years, and all you've got is a couple of emptying receipts. How do we know it's not working properly? So, you know, this government compliance form will save you like 10, 15,000 quid, and it's free. There's no catch, there's no con. Um, let me just bring that up. So if you want one, just go to, as I said, go to septictank.co.uk, 